All right, guys, so if you're coming in for part three of this uh, tutorial and how do we get our Santa playing game where he catches the presents, where he hits him with a snowball, where he gets bonked on the head, all that good stuff. Uh, this is the one we're gonna talk about, the snowball. If you missed either of those other videos, go ahead and check them out right up there. Super quick, awesome game here in Scratch. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'm gonna click over to the snowball. So last time, when we were playing the game, we had Santa moving right, left, but we didn't have the snowball. We coded in the sound where it bonks him on the head, where it crushes, right? Okay, so I'm gonna stop that. How do we get the snowball? So where am I? There we are. So here's the code. I'm gonna zoom in for you. And it's very similar to what we did for the present, except, so when the flag is clicked, we're gonna hide it. Um, by the way, I created this, this was based on the tutorial. Every time I click it, it shows you where it is, even though it's hidden. Okay, so if you look right there, it's there. Um, if you need to create your own, all you're gonna do is create it in paint. So what I basically did is grabbed a circle and I dragged it out. You can hold shift to make sure it's round, fill it with a gradient outline. It does not matter, whatever you wanna do, make it look like the snowball of your dreams and then you're good. So then click on it and we get our um, code and our sounds. Okay, so I have a bunch of sounds that I copied and pasted in the same ones just in case I needed them for this code. So uh, what's gonna happen is when it's clicked, we're gonna hide it just like we did before. And then the rest of the game, if a space bar is pressed, okay? If a space bar is pressed, create a clone. So that's when the snowball's gonna appear. And then, um, and then just wait for the next one. So in other words, it's not gonna just randomly create a bunch every time. If you wanna get burst fire, you can, you can play around with that number, how quickly you want it to do that. But then we have to code the clone. So again, just like the other one, when I start as a clone, we need to go to where Santa is. <laughs> Let me show you what happens. If we don't have that block in there and we move Santa around, let's just go ahead and play. You can guess, look, <laughs> not a very realistic game, right? So we need that piece of code. Go to wherever Santa is, which is cool because wherever Santa goes, it's gonna go there. Um, it's going to point in the direction zero. So when I click on that, see it? It means it's gonna go straight. Now we can mess with this and have Santa throw, you know, little sidearm flips, laterals, whatever. If you want Santa to move around the screen, something that I'll show you how to do later. But for right now, Santa just throws like space invaders. He's only got, you know, tunnel vision. So then it's gonna show that thing. So it's pointed, it's showing, and now we need to move it. So if, here's what I have, there might be a better way to do this. If it's not touching the gift, then move, okay? So this next block says repeat until. So essentially we just want it to keep moving until one of two things happens it gets to the edge of the screen or it hits the present. In that case, so repeat until it's touching the edge or it's touching the gift and it's gonna move 10 steps, okay? And then when that happens, delete. I think I just figured out why my snowballs don't delete. So let's try this. You might be able to get... I haven't been able to solve this. Why my snowballs aren't deleting? And I think I just figured it out. It's because of that or statement. I'm not 100% sure how to fix it yet, but uh, maybe I need to separate that out. Repeat until it's touching the edge, move 10 steps, um, repeat until it's touching a gift. I don't know, I, I'll play around with it, but that's definitely the problem. I just need to find the solution. If you can throw it in the comments, that would be awesome. You can help each other out here. So essentially all that it's doing is when it hits the gift, if you remember in the last video, we coded that sound. And now all Santa does when we hit a space bar is he forms a snowball and then that snowball goes straight depending on where he is. So we're just shooting it straight up and down. And that's it for the snowball. That's all we need. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you what I did with the Christmas trees for uh, like kind of giving Santa health back. And then we'll talk about how do we score the game and how do we do all that other stuff. So next video.